Hi Nicole, it is uh, Tuesday, February 22nd, and I'm talking very quickly because I'm really excited because right this very second, I am recording the first video in our little vlog brothers ripoff thing that we're doing, and I think that calls for a celebration. Oh my god, save this. Oh, this is disconcerting. Oh god, that's really bad. Ugh. Okay. So, as you know, my sort of resolution for 2012 was to read more books. So I think one of the things that I want to do on my days is do a review of the book that I read the previous week. Um, one of the reasons is because sometimes I get a little lazy. That was really rude. This is not very effective. Ah, I killed him. I've done well. Um, I've I have read a book every week, like I said I was going to. Uh, in January, I read two books a week, um, average. So I've been doing pretty well. But I also think that like if I don't do it, you're gonna be like. Where's your book review, cat? And then I'll be embarrassed, and embarrassment is a pretty good motivator. So it'll keep me, keep me doing. So I'm going to start that right now. Uh, the book that I read this week was Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Um, initially, I wasn't really interested in it because, like, who wants to read a book about people, like, weird kids? Not me. And then, um... I was, I was in uh, Books a Million, and I picked it up because it sat on the shelf, and I read the, the description, and I was like, man, that sounds cool. And I think I may have misread it because it kind of sounded like the kids might be evil, and I thought that was exciting and creepy sounding. So then I came home and uh, read it all in one sitting, and it... Spoiler alert, the kids aren't evil, but it was still really, really good. So I have to say, Nicole, right now, get thee to a library or bookstore or something and read it because I really think you will enjoy it. It uh, it was really good. And I love that it's set in Wales because, like, you know, you know me. Wales is cool. Um, but there wasn't any, like, weird Welsh words that I don't know how to pronounce. Um... So that was good. Also, apparently, there uh, it's been picked up by Fox to make a movie out of it, which is really cool. I'm excited for that. Um, and the woman who's writing it worked on Kick Ass and X Men First Class, which were both good. And also, um, she worked on that movie that you and Charmaine watched it in my house when I think I was sleeping, uh, The Stardust, based on Neil Gaiman's novel. She worked on that, and you guys said it was really good. So I'll believe you. So I think it's in good hands there. And also, Tim Burton's directing it. And at first I was like really excited because it's Tim Burton. And then I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm excited about it anymore. Um, while I love Tim Burton a lot and I love what he does and he's like the best at it, I also feel that he might be a little bit Tim Burton-y for it, if that makes sense. Like it is weird and creepy, but at the same time I feel like a lot of it's kind of rooted in realism. As weird as that sounds. 
Also, apparently there's going to be a second book, which is good because the ending was like, ah, what happens next? So I'm looking forward to that. So overall, I liked it a lot more than I thought I was going to like it. And I really, I suggest it to you. I recommend it. I think you'll love it. Um, and I hope you decide to read it. But why do I keep drinking this? So anyways, the next book that I'm going to read is All in Quiet Things by Anna Jarzib. I think is how you say her name. And also, I've been reading uh, Damned by Chuck Ponick for the last, like, month, but I haven't really been able to get into it, um, but I'm gonna, I don't know, I'll push through it. The thing about Chuck Ponick is I really love his stories, like, obviously, but sometimes I just don't like the way he writes, but I, like, respect it, because he is, like, I don't know, his narrators are very, um, distinct. June says hi! So, Nicole, I'm really looking forward to your video on, I think, Thursday. I hope I'm right. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye! Also, dude, <laughs> I really wish you could try this. Because <laughs> it's so bad.